afternoon. The temperature is cool and only eighteen degrees Celsius, so Greenie is not sweating at all. Yet she switches on the air conditioner as soon as she gets home from school. She then switches on all the lights in her bedroom, living room, and washroom. But this is an incorrect demonstration. Did you know air conditioners account for thirty percent of Hong Kong's annual energy use? And by the end of the twenty-first century, greenhouse gas emission from air conditioning will contribute to a zero point five degree Celsius rise in global temperature. After correction, Greenie opens the windows to allow ventilation and breeze to enter the house, and uses the fan when she truly feels hot. Greenie also draws aside the curtains to let in natural light to minimize energy use. We should also switch off air conditioners and lights whenever possible. Greenie lives within a walking distance from her school. Yet she frequently chooses to go to school by taxi. Such a habit increases roadside emissions and causes air pollution. Did you know? A study showed that walking a mile and a half would emit roughly seventy-five percent less greenhouse gases than driving the same distance. After correction, Greenie goes to school and back home by foot, by bus, or by MTR. Let's all walk or travel by public transportation more often. Greenie is a total beef lover. And eats beef all the time. On one day, Greeny has a beef burger for breakfast, then has beef stew for lunch, and even has steak for dinner. But eating so much beef all the time is actually very damaging to the air quality. Did you know? Over two hundred and twenty grams of carbon dioxide are produced for every gram of beef produced, which contributes to almost four percent of the total greenhouse gas emissions globally. Consuming one serving of beef, that is typically 85 grams, also equates to producing 18,700 grams of carbon dioxide. After correction, Greenie cuts down her consumption of beef significantly. For example, she changes to having salad for breakfast, ham sandwich for lunch, and salmon for dinner instead. Like Greenie, let's try to cut down our consumption of beef as well. Greenie has to use paper often for printing worksheets and doing rough work. She always prints single-sided worksheets and uses completely clean paper for rough work. However, this is a waste of paper and will lower the air quality. Did you know, methane, which is twenty-five times more toxic than carbon dioxide, is produced when paper rots? Also, thirty-five percent of harvested trees are consumed by paper manufacturers, which results in a significant increase in greenhouse gas emissions. After correction, Greenie prints double-sided worksheets and uses waste paper, such as expired school notice, for doing rough work. We should all avoid wasting paper. One day, Greenie bumps into her friends, who look crippled and worn out, same to her own condition before. Seeing Greenie's healthy and green condition for the first time, Greenie's friends are extremely shocked and start to ask her about her transformation. Greenie smiles and shares that. It's because of her eco-friendly lifestyle now. Greeny explains that all she's done is follow simple daily habits of achieving clean air. Firstly, minimize use of air conditioners and lights. Secondly, walk or travel by public transportation more frequently. Moreover, consume less beef. And last but not least, avoid wasting paper. Small actions play a substantial part in achieving clean air. So let's all get involved. Talk to your friends and different people more, and spread the message. We should all encourage each other to contribute to clean, fresh air.